it's so family friendly. If you want to really put down some roots, you really can have it all here, I believe. I love it. Many of us feel the same way about our own city, but would it surprise you to know vulnerable women and children are being targeted by sex traffickers in your area, in plain sight? Young women and young men that are caught in this are actually victims. You know, they're, they're being manipulated and coerced and they're slaves. Do you realize the average age for girls trafficked into prostitution is 12 to 14 years of age? I can't explain it. It's just when I was eight years old, my mother sold me, and I've been doing this ever since. Do you know this is all happening in the United States? But all of these are ads for um, sex, but we found that their minors are being trafficked on here. And the location of that was right near us. Are you willing to open your eyes? Are you willing to hear what's really going on? The truth is that women and children are being sold for sex in your city against their will. Join the journey across America as we meet people who are bringing hope in the midst of darkness. We have to be willing to roll our sleeves up and get our hands dirty and be willing to say no more. We're, we're not being a part of continuing this anymore. Whatever's causing it must stop. This is Mari Gandhi at JCI Productions. And we have uh, interviewing today David Trotter and he said the In Plain Sight is the name of the film. So we, can you describe this documentary? Well, as you, as you mentioned, the name of the film is In Plain Sight, Stories of Hope and Freedom, and it's a 68-minute documentary that focuses on the work of a six female abolitionist who became aware of the issue of trafficking midway through in life and then chose to do something rather extraordinary about it. And the, the, the reason behind the film is we wanted to educate Americans on the issue of sex trafficking, but then also we wanted to provide hope through the stories of these women uh, that, that would ultimately motivate people to take action in their own communities. Well, one of the slogans I see that you have is, it's not just an international issue. And I think that's really great that you're bringing that up. A lot of people don't realize that. Right, that's one of the misconceptions that people have is that it is an international issue primarily, that it's uh, something that's happening in Asia or India or Mexico. And we want to help people understand that uh, this is something that's happening in the United States, not even just in large metropolitan areas like Las Vegas, New York, or Los Angeles, but it's happening in every state in the U.S. It's happening in our own communities. Well, what inspired you to make uh, to make in plain sight. You know, on humanitarian trips, I had seen sex trafficking firsthand in China, in Thailand, as well as India. And then I began to hear about the issue in the U.S., and I thought, man, there's no way this is happening in our own country. Like, this is so, it feels so, uh, almost like a, a fictional story. And something they put on, on the you know, uh, big screen. And so uh, I began to dig into that and realize, no, this is really happening. And looking at FBI reports and news reports and seeing this is happening in our country, and yet we keep it kind of covered up. We keep it hidden. And so we wanted to create a film that would expose what is happening and help people see this is hidden, but it's right out in plain sight. And David, what was the most surprising thing that you learned during the making of this documentary? You know, beyond the statistics and details that we would hear about from law enforcement and computers, all of that was very interesting. But the thing that was most enlightening was the opportunity to sit down in front of numerous survivors and hear their stories. Mm -hmm. You know, that term prostitute took on a whole different meaning 
when I began to come face to face with young women who had been abused for most of their life. And because of their vulnerability, they had been lured in, manipulated, coerced, and forced into uh, a commercial sex trade. When I began to hear their story and see them face to face, now rescued and living in an aftercare home, their humanity just shines through in the midst of the darkness. And all of a sudden, they're not someone to be looked down upon or pitied or, uh, you know, disdained in some way. They're a human being with hopes and dreams and someone who really does deserve a great future. Wow, that's really ins inspiring to know that, too. I've met other women that have been sex have sex tra uh, trafficking in their background and and they felt uh, unloved so that you know having someone to love them and really care about them made a difference in their life yeah the the whole aspect of love is so complex <laughs> to a victim because yeah. love has been used as a tool of manipulation almost their entire life. And the uh, collision of love and sexuality and violence becomes so convoluted that when they actually begin to experience love in these aftercare homes, that's not love connected to performance. Right. It's not love connected to uh, making money. It's just love, and that love is so powerful and healing. Yes, it really is. And I see that you just now released a lot of areas uh, in the United States, Houston being one of them, but I see that the Austin area has not had any um, hosting scene screening yet, so I'm looking forward to letting people know about that. So tell me how people can become a host of the screening. Yeah, it's very easily, actually. They can go to our website, inplainsightfilm.com, inplainsight, S-I-G-H-T, film.com, and they'll click on the, the button in the upper right. It says screening, and there's a drop-down that says how to host a screening. All they have to do is fill out a form, there is a simple screening license fee from our distribution company, Word Film, and then they're mailed to DVD. We provide them with editable marketing resources, a plan, a, a, a checklist on how to host a screening. It can be hosted in a community center, a church, a nonprofit, a local theater, a, a university, a college, wherever they want to host it. Anywhere you got a, a big screen and a place to play a DVD, and we'll help you create a great, a great atmosphere. Um, we do have the opportunity for them to raise funds for any of the six organizations featured in the film, or if they want to raise funds for their own organization, that's fine as well. But we make it very easy for them. That's great. And I see that Natalie Grant is the host. She's a Christian singer. And you also have a, a music DVD or CD about, uh, well, tell me more about that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there are a total of five resources as part of the In Plain Sight campaign. At the center, of course, is the DVD, the documentary. Uh, we also have a 31-day devotional and small group study guide. And that's a faith-based tool that if an individual wants to learn more uh, and or a small group Bible study that wants to learn more about the topic, they can dive into that. We also created a music album. It's a benefit album. Mm -hmm. Twelve artists donated one song each. They're all hymns that are in contemporary arrangements. And some of the artists that are on the album include Natalie Grant, Dermot Camp, Bart Millard from uh, Mercy Me, All Sons and Daughters. Just great artists. It, it's 100% uh, of the proceeds from this CD go to the work of Hope for Justice. And Hope for Justice is one of the six organizations featured in the film. People can pick up that CD for $5. Family Christian stores nationwide or familychristian.com. I mean, 100% of the proceeds go to the work of Hope for Justice. Wow, that's really awesome, David. And 
they could also pick up a copy where for uh, of the DVD. I'm sure family bookstore. Yeah, Yep, uh, Christian bookstores nationwide have the DVD, or they can uh, go to our website and uh, follow a link from there. And that website, once again, is inplainsightfilm.com. Great. And David, I want to thank you so much for what you're doing to bring awareness of this, t this issue that's so important to the young girls. Uh, well, I, I, it's an honor to be able to do this. And we just uh, hope and pray that that uh, organizations and churches will uh, step up and host screenings. As you mentioned, we have almost 100 screenings happening in the month of January and February. And if somebody in the Austin area would like to host a screening, we can have multiple screenings all in the same city because each screening draws a different segment of people. Uh, so it's very easy to host a screening. Just go to our website, inplainsightfilm.com, and we can get you set up. Well, thank you again, David. This is Mari at JCI Productions.